Hi everybody, it's Nicole Bosco here again, and I'm bringing you the five fights to watch outside the UFC for the month of December. We got through November, some great fights there, and hope everybody is getting ready to get into the busy time of year. A lot of shopping to do, a lot of family stuff, but there's going to be time to relax and watch some good fights. So I'm going to bring to you which ones you can't miss for this month. We're going to start off at the very end of the month. December 31st, in Japan, we have Ryzen Grand Prix, the World Grand Prix. They put it on every year. And this year, they got a couple of great names in there. We got Mirko Krokop again. And also, now, they just added Takanori Gomi, who will be taking on Yusuke Yachi in the World Grand Prix. A lot of you may know Gomi from the UFC. He was a longtime member of the UFC, fought a lot in Asia. He recently was released from the UFC after suffering five losses in a row. A lot of people were calling for his retirement, but no, Gomi's not ready to retire. He jumps right back in and signs with Ryzen and right into the World Grand Prix tournament. Gomi is not going to have an easy way either. Yachi has won four in a row, with three of those four wins coming from knockout. One of those wins was over former UFC fighter Darren Crutchang. And this fight between Gomi and Yashi is definitely one you can't miss. The next fight you don't want to miss in the month of December takes place one day before this fight, and also in Ryzen. Ryzen is putting on a World Grand Prix tournament in the Bantamweight division. And that will be taking place on December 30th. Jumping into the quarterfinals of this fight is Ian McCall. A lot of you may not know, but Ian McCall has not fought since January of 2015. Uncle Creepy has been out of the octagon for almost two years, but not for lack of trying. He has six fights that he was supposed to be in between January of 2015 and now. All of them fell through within days of the fight happening. Some were his bad for missing weight or medical issues. Some were his opponents dropping out last minute. But following those fights, Ian McCall decided to leave the UFC in search for greener pastors. He was recently on the MMA Hour with Ariel Hawani stating that he would not take less than $100,000 for a fight. And apparently he has gotten it since he is now fighting in Ryzen. He'll be taking on Manel Cape, who has won six fights in a row and is fighting out of Portugal. Cape is a dangerous opponent for McCall. All six of his last wins have come by way of finish. These two have already gotten into it with each other during the media day for Ryzen, pushing and shoving, some trash talking. So this fight is going to be one to watch for sure. You don't want to miss these two. Hot-headed Cape against cool and collected McCall. The next fight you're not going to want to miss takes place in CFFC, Cage Fury Fighting Championships, right close to me in Atlantic City at the Brigada on December 16th. This fight is for the Interim Flyweight Championship. It features Sean Shorty Rock Santanella against Kevin Gray. Santanella is the former flyweight champion in CFFC. He was almost signed to the UFC several times. You can see him fighting Joseph Morales on Dana White looking for a fight. Unfortunately, he lost that fight and Morales was signed to the UFC. Santanella was also signed to fight Wilson Hayes after Demetrius Johnson dropped out of their fight on short notice. But unfortunately, due to medical and timing, that fight wasn't able to go on. But Santanella is a great submission artist. He is dangerous on the ground, and I wouldn't be surprised if you see him in the UFC very soon. He holds 10 submission victories in his 18 career fights. Kevin Gray is no stranger to the limelight either. He was most recently on Dana White's Tuesday Night Contender Series. Uh, unfortunately, he lost also to Alex Perez, but he showed great heart in that fight, and he too could be next in the UFC. This will be an interesting one if it goes to the ground. Kevin Gray's last three losses have all come from chokes, and Santanella is a master at submissions. EFFC is a great breeding ground for UFC fighters. We've seen many come out of this organization, such as Jimmy Rivera, Aljamain Sterling, so many great guys. And it's part of Alliance MMA, who is now putting on some of the best fights in the regional MMA scene around. For the next fight, let's throw it over to the women. Invicta 26, that's taking place on December 8th. We have Mackenzie Dern making her Invicta debut against Colleen Medeiros. Mackenzie Dern, of course known for her Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu skills, a world champion, has had four MMA fights. She is 4-0. She hasn't found her weight class as of yet. She was fighting at 115. This will be her second fight moving up to flyweight and her first fight into Invicta. She's taking on a tough opponent for her first time out. Daros last fought Angela Hill and lost for the Invicta Strawweight Championship. She's had a high caliber of opponent and 
Taking on Mackenzie Dern this early in her career could hand Dern her first loss in MMA. Many people thought that Mackenzie Dern would be coming straight to the UFC after the UFC announced that they were bringing in the ladies flyweight division, especially with the Ultimate Fighter. A lot of people were surprised that Dern didn't get into the house right away. Dana White has said in the past that he is keeping an eye on Mackenzie Dern and is very interested in bringing her to the UFC. Now that she's signed with Invicta, she's going to be fighting in front of a lot bigger crowd and on UFC Fight Pass. Medeiros is 38 years old and has a lot of experience. Before this loss to Angela Hill, she has won five in a row. This fight is one you're not gonna wanna miss. And that brings us to our last fight to watch in the month of December. We go to Bellator 191. That's gonna be taking place on December 15th in Newcastle, England. We have Michael McDonald making his Bellator debut against Peter Lager. McDonald has fought some of the best of the best in his young career. He has fought against Henan Burrell, Uriah Faber, John Lineker, and so many more. He fought for the UFC interim bantamweight title at the age of 23. Unfortunately, he parted ways with the UFC after some disagreements, but found his way to Bellator and that is now ready to move towards the Bellator title. Liger is 31 years old and he hails from France, so he may have the European fans on his side. He has won four in a row with one draw. Both of these men will be making their Bellator debuts, and in the Bellator bantamweight division, either one of these two men with a win could be rising to title contention within the next couple fights. Aside Note, also making her Bellator debut on this card is former UFC fighter Valerie Letourneau. Valerie Letourneau is another one of those that moved up from strawweight when she was fighting in the UFC to the flyweight division now in Bellator around the same time that the UFC is now introducing. It'll be interesting to see the comparison between the two flyweight divisions, Bellator and the UFC. Well guys, that's all I'm going to say about the five fights you got to watch for December. I'll catch you guys next year in 2018 when I come back with the five fights you want to watch in January. Enjoy your holidays and enjoy the rest of your year. Thanks everybody and remember to follow us on all social media, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, follow us and also you can follow me on my Twitter, it's at Nick Boss, N-I-K-B-O-S. So thanks everybody and I'll see you soon.